Would you even be dealing with someone who is angry? Now we have this question. Can you marry a man who is both a leader, a pastor, and in church, he's not what he is at home. You see a dual person, personality. Should you even put up with that? Welcome to the Deep Alive Bible Church Singles channel. We are a faith-based channel and we talk about Christian relationship. We talk about how to court efficiently relationship that will lead to marriage. Um, today we have a very interesting topic and it relates to ladies or people who are in a relationship or who are married to someone who is a pastor, who is a leader, and he, he he's vibrant on the pulpit. He's this lovely, angelic man of God. And everybody's like, oh, what a great man. But his partner, his wife, his spouse knows that he is not what he is on the pulpit. He's not the same person. It's a double personality. This is the person that aggresses her at home. This is the person that ignores her, that treats her like trash, that that's just not nice to her. But in church, he's the lovely man. He's the best pastor any woman can ever have. She's very attentive. He's very patient, he's very loving, he has the best words that encourages people and he's just the perfect, the perfect man, the perfect spouse, the perfect fiancé. We will always go back to the Bible. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 14, it says, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man, no man can see the Lord. It simply means that if you're not living a holy life with all men, your spouse inclusive, the people that are close to you inclusive, your fiance inclusive, the person that you think you want to marry and maybe you, maybe you haven't second thought about her, but still you've proposed to this person and you are in a relationship, the Bible says, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man, absolutely no man can see the Lord. So, what do you say about someone who knows this verse, preaches this verse, talks about this verse, but does not live it? He's living a different life from what you know the Bible says about a Christian. Let's just put it out there. That person is not a Christian. That's not the Christian, the Christ-like attitude in display. Because as the popular saying goes, charity begins at home. You cannot be a Christian outside and an angry, bully, wicked, or nice person at home. You cannot be a double personality. You're either for or against. You cannot sit on the fence. You can't be both at the same time. Bible says by their fruits, you shall know them. Your fruit is a display of who you are in private. In secret, when nobody is watching, what you really are, that is, that is the real person. That is the real deal. We see in um, 1 Kings from verse 11, 1 Kings 11 verse 9, God was angry with Solomon, okay? 
God was angry with Solomon because his heart was turned from the Lord. And I'm just quoting this to tell you that it's okay to be angry, okay? P parents can be upset with their children, with their words, when they do something that's not right. Okay, it's okay to be angry. But angry, when I say angry, I put that in quotes. I mean upset, unhappy, because something ungodly is going on. Like Solomon here was doing something wrong. He had departed from the way of the Lord. He is no more behaving as God expected him to behave as the king of Israel, as someone that was handed over the kingship of Israel. He was no longer living according to that expectation and God was unhappy with him. Okay, so if there is something going on that's not right, you can scold, you can frown, but does it mean that you start to break things? You cannot say because something was not done right and you are so upset that you break the TV, that you break a glass, that you throw a glass at somebody. You're so, so upset that you cannot control your emotion. That's no longer, that's over the board. It's no longer Christ-like. So, there should be a control, there should be a limit. Anger, express anger, and especially when you're taking it out on the person or the people that you say you love, especially your spouse. You love this person and you are battering them emotionally, you are battering them physically, and you are hiding it and you are saying, don't say it out, just keep quiet about it. You know, I'm a big minister, you know, I'm a leader, I'm a choir leader, I'm, I'm a youth leader, youth pastor, whatever it is that you, you think that you occupy in the church, and you're hiding it and this person needs to cover up for you. You're not a Christian. Lady, if you have somebody like that in your life, that person is not a Christian. That's a red flag. If you're not married yet, it's the time to run away. Run. Because the Bible says in Proverbs chapter, chapter 22 verse 24, it says, Make no friend with an angry man. Just simply says that if you have an angry man and you're his friend, you need to run away. You need to run away. The Bible doesn't mean word about it. It's going to explode. When this person displays and cannot control their emotions, it's going to explode. Once, he's, once he displays it once and it's not checked and you see that that's a recurrent attitude, it, it's, high, it's a red flag, it's something you need to run away from. So you can, you can be upset and not sing. Okay? You don't let the sun go down on your anger. Okay? The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26, it says, be, ang be angry and sin not. You can be angry without sinning. You can be upset. And it says angry, saying you're upset about something like Jesus was when they were selling stuff in the temple and it wasn't right. He was not happy with them, but there was no sin. You don't go to bed with malice, with with unhappiness, you know, everywhere is you, you're so tense and you're not able to even pray. That's no longer a just anger. Okay, that's not, that's not right. So we just wrap this up in Titus chapter 1 verse 7. It says, a bishop must not be one that is soon angry. He is a pastor, he's a leader, he's whatever it is, and he is a supposed bishop, a leader of the people of God, and he's displaying this anger. The Bible says, he is not supposed to be like that. It's not supposed to be like that. So don't put up with this and deal with it and hide in silence and try to protect this man's ministry. You need to help this man as a lady. As a man, if you're also on the receiving end of an angry woman, you need to help this person. Get to speak to people who might talk to this person. Let this person know clearly that you cannot be their punching bag. And go on. Move on with your life. Move on with your life. Move on with your life. Don't be the punching bag of anybody. You are better than that. You deserve better than that. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like this video, and to share with your friends and loved ones, as many as need to hear this. Don't forget to share with them. Thank you very much, and I pray that the Lord will give you and give us all an answer of peace for those who are still praying, those who are married already. May God keep your home happy. As always, this is Princess, and I'll see you next time. Remain blessed. Bye.